Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today I would like to talk about water bottles. I know it sounds simple, but it is such an important subject that not many people are discussing. In this video I would like to talk about uh, a part of it will be product review, part will be health and nutrition, and part of it reason why you should use or not use uh, some bottles. Can I please ask you also a favor? If you like this video or any other videos on my channel, please hit the thumbs up. It will help me to promote my content and help people with health, product reviews, nutrition, whatever you're after. Also, please subscribe so you won't miss any future videos and hit that notification bell which will notify you every time I post something. All right, so this video started as I see many people coming to gym or just driving in the cars and have um, single-use plastic bottles. Those bottles, I don't even have to anything to show you, but those bottles are probably the worst ones to use. Reason is that they're made of plastic, they're made of cheap plastic, and the moment you heat up plastic or expose it to any UV or other radiation, which is I mean sun, uh, heat, any elements of whatever, the plastic start leaching into the water. And plastic is very cancerous, very estrogenic. So I'm not sure which one is worse because one would lead probably to another. Um, if there will be this balance of estrogen in the system uh, in men, it will uh, so, uh, it will reduce the amount of uh, testosterone in women. It will uh, create total hormonal disbalance. I don't want to go into that, but it's very terrible, terrible thing to experience. And worst case scenario, it will be. Um, other disorders that plastic causing everyone knows about dangers of plastic and i don't recommend using uh, single-use bottles at all uh, doesn't matter whether you if you have chance to drink uh, refilled water please refill it um, only if you only go and you're dehydrating that's the kind of one of the not many scenarios that i would Accept to use plastic bottles and still if you plan your trip you can use um, any other bottle Then what I see people splash a lot of money and buy something like This this is your typical Tupperware bottle Tupperware is a quality plastic that guarantees for life Blah 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 and yada yada that all good. That's from quality of product itself but after all, this is plastic and there's no miracles in plastic. The moment you're subjected to heat, to uh, um, sunlight, it will behave almost like any other plastic. I know they, they, they say there's a reduced dead compound, dead compound, it doesn't matter. Plastics are bad. If you use it for cold water, you're not subjected to sunlight, you're not going to sauna, you're not doing anything with it, it's all right to have it for a gym workout and still there are better options. Just remember Tupperware is a very expensive brand and for price of this bottle you can get much better bottles. Again, I don't want to discuss plastics but I would strongly recommend not using plastic bottle. So that's the first option I see many people use it because it's such a good quality, um, it shuts properly, it doesn't leak. And it's an amazing bottle, but it's plastic. Let's move on. When you graduate from plastic, what other choice do you have? Many people use bottles like that. And that aluminum or aluminium, depends what country you're in. But there's nothing good about that. Aluminum or aluminium is a big problem in our life. It's everywhere. It's in a coffee machine. When every time you, you turn on the coffee machine, it's used aluminium because it's um, rust or corrosion resistance uh, and aluminium uh, leaching into water. It's in a water supply. It's in a, a drink cans. Everyone opens soft drinks, they're made from aluminium. 
and deodorants and so on. And last thing you need is subject yourself even more to something like that. What is the problem with aluminium? Well, it was proven that uh, if you expose yourself to aluminium, it will cause autism to person that is exposed or to next generation. That's a terrible thing. And uh, if we can avoid it, please do. It will cause cancer as well. There's a lot of cancerous properties in aluminium. It definitely causes Alzheimer's disease. Um, another, uh, it's not disease of aging, it's disease of poor, poor nutrition and environmental factors. And we, because we're all subjected to that, and as an uh, older generation suffers from that, we always think that it's a disease of aging, not a disease of our environment. Get rid of aluminium in your, in your, in your life. Also, it damages kidneys, slowly but surely damages kidney. And it makes your bones thinner by depleting them of other minerals. It's enough reason not to use... Look, many people use deodorants. Uh, and uh, I agree, look, there are other options, but you know, you've got busy life. You may just use deodorant. And what I'm trying to say is the choice is not to use more of the harmful products. So if you can brew your coffee in stainless steel appliance, do that. If you can drink from a bottle and not from aluminum can, do that. This is the easiest choice. Do not store water in this bottle. Do not subject it to cooling, to heating, to any damage like bending and things like that. So that is conscious choice you can make. And by the way, those are cheapest bottles and um, you, you know, you can buy better ones. When I say better ones, here you go. It looks like solid bottle and it's also double walled. It's a stainless steel bottle. There's nothing can leach out of stainless steel bottle. Double walled means when you take it to your car, when you take it to sauna, when you take it elsewhere, it won't influence water that is inside. And why I'm think, I'm thinking like influencing water because if you're not filtering water, there are still a lot of harmful compounds in the water. So my point of this video, this bottle doesn't cost too much money compared to damage the other bottles are, um, can you know can uh, can cause by uh, leaching chemicals into uh, your blood system through uh, you know drinking. I buy all my stuff from Amazon. There's a very cheap pricing for delivery, and this will last you forever. It's a lifetime. You can store coffee. You can store tea, you can store water, you can do whatever you want with this bottle. I think that's just amazing. Don't shortchange yourself. Highly recommend this one. And by the way, if you do store water in this, I already posted a video on the quality of water. I'm not claiming that Brita filters are good filters. But if you're in the area like me, when water quality is great, but local cancel adding chlorine, uh, adding fluoride and other things to stop bacteria from multiplying, you would like to filter it before you drink it. So your Brita probably won't much filter heavy metals and things. In Australia, we're lucky. We don't have much of that. So if you're in Australia, I suggest you know, do two investments and help yourself to stay healthier. First of all, stainless steel bottle. If you can, double walled stainless steel bottle, link down below. And also buy yourself a Brita filter that filters uh, at least limestone, because limestone is a calcium that is really hard to get out of the system unless you, you know, are consuming other good vitamins and minerals through um, real food. So, you would like to get limestone out of your water, fluoride out of your water, and chlorine out of your water. And Brita filter, 
and stainless steel double wall uh, bottle and you're good to go. I hope this video was helpful to many of you. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you like this video, please thumbs up. It will help me to promote more channel and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.